In the Summer 18 release, we have new and improved base Lightning components and a new Lightning components library. Let's first check out the new Lightning Record Form base component. What Lightning Record Form allows you to do is essentially create your own custom detail panel quickly. Let's take a look at what that looks like before Summer 18. In Spring 18, you could have created a custom record form using something called Lightning Record Edit Form, which is a component we released in Spring. But for each of the fields you wanted to create, you had to use an input field or an output field, Lightning messages if you want us to capture and display error or validation messages, and of course, a Lightning button. This is a great component if you want full control over your form. But what if you wanted a simple form with all the standard view and edit capabilities? This is where Summer 18 has come to fruition. If you look here, that entire form could be replaced with one single line of code. You can see it takes the same record ID, object ID, fields, and number of columns. So you see I declared my fields here, and this can be as few or as many fields as you'd like. So let's see what that looks like when it's rendered. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my org and refresh it, then go to Custom Details. You can see that you essentially have the same form that you want, and it handles both lookups, as well as picklist and dependent picklist. This is an important component that can very easily allow you to recreate your own forms throughout the application. But the power of components is that they're reusable. So let's see how we can leverage this and make it even better. I can create a component once and reuse it as many times as I want. You can see here that I have a very similar component. It has just one real line of markup, which is Lightning Record Form. But I pass in all these variables. These variables are determined by the design file. And the design file is how you, as a developer, can allow your admin to extend or reuse this component in any number of situations. So here what I've done is create a single record form component. And now the admin can go into the app builder and configure this any way they want and reuse this anywhere they want. So let's see what that looks like. On this custom page, I'm going to edit this, and you can see here I have this data table component. I'm going to replace this with the record form I just showed you. And here you can see that there's a number of parameters I can choose from. All of this is configurable. So let's say I just want name and email. I can save this, and you can see right there, all I see is the name and email. But what if I wanted name, email, and phone number? I saved it. You can see that it's getting updated. What if I wanted three columns? I can do that as well. You can now leverage the power of this component and its ability to be reused. Next, I want to share with you the Lightning Data Table. The Lightning Data Table supports inline edits in Summer 18, so you can make small changes and apply those automatically. Now, the Lightning Data Table is a pure UI component so you need to get the data back and handle things getting saved. But what's powerful is that you can essentially create your own custom list view with multiple record types in the same list view. Boolean fields are also supported, and on top of that, we also support mass inline edit, where you can update multiple selected items, apply them, and essentially save. Last but not least, I want to show you the Lightning Components Library. This will provide you a view of all of our components. You can find them quickly with a quick find here, and you can even filter them by things like categories, experiences, and namespaces. So if you click into one of these components, you see that we give you examples, what the example looks like, and we give you the code. Check out the component library at developer.salesforce.com under the Resources tab. We hope you enjoyed the new and improved Lightning Components and the Lightning Component Library now available in the Summer 18 release.